My mom asked me to make something for her and this is this little top right here. And since it's quite simple, I decided to challenge myself. I've got a playlist that's two hours long and I'm gonna see how far I can get within those two hours and perhaps even finish it. I've got this fabric that she bought quite a while ago that she gave to me that she wants it out of. I don't know if this will be enough. Yes, it's covered with hearts and Valentine's Day was a week ago, but I don't do Valentine's Day, so sorry. And she also told me that she might want the back to be black, so I've got some black fabric that I already have that I've bought years ago that I can use to supplement. I already have the pattern traced and cut and I'm gonna put on my music and start cutting away. So it's just fitting, I can roll this out and make it fit, however I cannot get the casing pieces out of this so I'm gonna put this one out of the black and put the facing pieces probably somewhere here. I'm gonna fold it slightly different so that I have a little bit more space. This is from laundry, don't worry, it's not dirty. start pinning. I am gonna put this together with the overlogger and I'm gonna start with the black stuff because I have black on it now and I like to do that with the black thread and then switch to white after would make a lot more sense. I'm not putting the shoulders together yet because I need those open so I can sew this in properly. This is the facing by the way. So I have a back fully together, a front fully together, and I'm now going to pin them together and sew them together. I'm going to use the white thread for that because the black will show through the white, whilst the white will not show through the black. Makes sense, right? I'm also not going to sew up the shoulders yet because I want to do that after I've sewn in the facing and I'm going to show you a little trick to get like seamless facing setting um, with help of the shoulders. Okay, this is the scale of things. It is together. I have overlocked the hem and I'm going to press this up with two centimeters now. I have also hemmed off the facing and I'm going to give that a press to get it flat again. And once I've hemmed it, I'm going to put in the facing.
Okay, I've got basically this all done. I gave it a hem. I'm pretty proud of it. So on the wide, I have a white thread on the bobbin because I sew it from this side. I switched the bobbin for the black, so I have white on the inside. I don't know if you can see it even, but black on the outside. So I'm very happy with that. I pressed it and now I'm going to pin in and sew in the facing and after that I'll come back and show you a little trick of how to get seamless shoulder seams with facings because I found something out for that. I said I had a two hour long playlist and um, that just ran out so can I do this in two hours? No, I cannot. Also I'm starting to lose focus a bit so I get distracted easily now but how far did I get? Well, I got to the facing and the facing now legit is only sewing it in and then sewing the shoulders and then I'm done. So, so I'm going to take a break and then come back to this. Okay, I have pressed the facing inwards as well. I still need to press it on the inside, but I'm going to continue because I would like to have this finished. So how to sew the straps? So you have them like that. They have to go that, put them right tight together. If you would do it like that, you would have an ugly edge here. You need to finish in a different way. So I just fold the facings out of my way, grab the outsides, put a pin in it. So now that's pinned. Then I'm going to go in one side. It does not really matter which side because you get the same result. I go look for the pin. I grab the pin carefully. It's sharp. Move it the other way around. And there you are. Now you can just simply line everything up, pin it, sew it. And basically if you pull on the one that's right side out, it's going to pull itself right side out again. I think I'm going to ignore everything I've done about the pressing and just pin it the way I think is best. Now, whilst I'm doing this, I'm of course realizing that I did not add more seam allowance on the shoulder seams, so I only have half a centimeter, whereas I prefer one when sewing with that machine, but I guess it's fine. So now that's pinned, I'm going to pin the other one and then go to the sewing machine and sew them. Just sewn the first one, this is basically how I keep the strap. And I try to keep the needle in when I need to move anything because otherwise it might shift around. It's finished! I've tacked down all of the facing on the inside, just simple cross stitches. And I hope my mom likes it very much because I do like it a lot. I'm gonna see if I can take a few pictures of it before I give it, just so that I have those um, for if I want to post them. But I'm really, really happy with it. That's what the back looks like. Thanks for watching! It was kind of, I hope, a quick video. Um, this was also quite a quick project. I think I spent like three hours on it in total, so I thought I had hoped to, but at the same time, I made a mistake. And I had to unpick a little bit, which added like at least 15 to 20 to maybe 30 minutes for it to be redone. But now it's finished and I'm really, really happy with it. I think I'm going to use this pattern for a dress in the future because I have a few fabrics that I would like to put into a dress. And I'm going to see how this fits on my mom and make a decision from there. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.